What is going on guys, Mr. Tan here bringing you another video and today we're going to talk about the direction of Pokemon and why I'm quite excited where they're going uh, with the whole entire Ultra Sun Ultra Moon theme and what's going on uh, from what we've seen so far and why I'm very excited for it. Now, before the video, before the video begins, I want, to make, I want to make sure I tell you guys that it's very opinionated and that is that right there. So, if you're looking for like cold hard facts and whatnot, you're not going to get many here but you are going to get um, basically what I feel... It's a really good direction that Pokemon is heading right now, and uh, a couple of reasons why they're doing that. Now, of course, as you see behind me, this, this little background picture is a little stretched out, but I figured I needed a background for this video. This is this image is awesome. This is official artwork, so I figured I'd use this and just like look at the artwork first of all. Like, right off the bat, you see we have phenomenal artwork. Of course, the game's not gonna look at that, but it's just, as it's um, official artwork, dumb. Obviously, DS can't handle this, but. Um, I have a couple points I want to make right now, and the first point is going to be that I think Pokemon, or the Pokemon company in general, and everybody running the, the scenes there and the show there, are finally realizing that the Pokemon audience is not as young as it seems to be, or as, that, as it is perceived to be. I think they finally realize that most of us, or a good portion, or I say majority of the Pokemon scene, is around my age. I'm 25 years old. Uh, I grew up with Pokemon, obviously, been playing my whole life, and I finally think Pokemon is finally catering that to a little, catering to that demographic a little bit more. As you can see from the actual storyline and whatnot that we have in this game, we see actual crisis, an actual like plot, and an actual storyline developing. What I'm not saying Pokemon has another in the past, but most of the time. Uh, in my opinion, at least, before X and Y, because X and Y had a great storyline as well, with the whole Team Flare, the Ultimate Weapon, AZ, all that good stuff, trying to blow up whatever they want to freaking blow up, reset the world and everything. Now, of course, Archie and them back in Gen 3 and whatnot, kind of had the same concept, flood the world, burn the world, recreate the world, blah, blah, blah. But it's always been kind of like a stale story, in my opinion. Pokemon has never been really about the story. And it's always been about, for me, the competitive scene, battling, and just getting through the game and catching the Pokemon, to be honest. I could care less with the story. The first time the story uh, piqued my interest was in X and Y with the whole entire, like I said, the ultimate weapon and everything. Like, uh, and, and AZ, we still gotta figure out what's going on with AZ. There's still a lot of answers to be said and done. I wasn't a big fan of Gen 4, Gen 5 storyline. Like I said, it's very stale. And like I said previously in this video, this is very opinionated. So you might not agree with me. I would love to discuss it in the comments down below. Uh... Uh, what you feel about the Pokemon storyline wise, but this time around there's actually a storyline, there's great visual effects, and there's a great art, and Necrozma is just such a freaking badass, and speaking about the visuals, like I love the cutscene, I love Necrozma clamping down on the light, getting rid of this towns behind this light, and making sure that, we're well, not making sure, but our goal I'm gonna assume is, I'm not sure if these guys are good or bad yet, the team, the, 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 whatever they're called, the, Whatever squad they are, I forgot what they're called, but uh, whatever towns people for this town are. But I don't think we're gonna be working with them or working against if they're bad or good. Uh, I feel like you're gonna battle them at some point, obviously, uh, maybe prove your worth. But I do like where the actual story is going. Is action, they actually want to play the game because there's a lot of plot holes and a lot of holes in general from Ultra Sun, I mean, for Ultra Sun, I mean, from regular Sun and Moon that need to be filled in. And I'm really, really curious with this whole dimensional travel thing as we saw in I think it was uh and whatever whatever plasma was team plasma was you had that one team plasma member go through the portal and just gone disappeared I want to see they come back and of course we saw a Colrus uh, ex team galactic member or team plasma member uh in sun and moon for no reason basically and I want to see what his involvement is with everything and whatnot like I said it's one of many plot holes but I remember uh, going back to my point of actual storyline and the cutscenes and the visuals, I remember watching vividly, and I think it was Pokemon Emerald, when you had Kyogre and Groudon battling, and then Rayquaza came down, and it was so freaking cool, actually, I absolutely loved that visual, I remember being a little kid getting so hyped watching this, and I don't think, I feel like I never got that same taste, or that same feeling from Pokemon cutscenes and whatnot, since I don't remember if there's any any to begin with, or after that, to be honest, in Gen 4, 5, and 6. I mean, Gen 6 did have some, but obviously they didn't leave less an impression on me because I didn't feel anything. Or oh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember it, to be honest. But, however, at Gen 3, though, with Emerald, I perfectly remember the scene with Rayquaza, Groudon, Kyogre. Rayquaza calming the storm, basically, saying to both of those Pokemon, go to your room, we're done here, and just clearing out everything. So I actually really, really, really like... Uh, the cutscene of 
the Karaza coming out of the Dimensional Portal, and you see, whether you're playing Sun or Moon, you see Sogaleo or Lunala flying the actual fight, like a DBZ-style fight scene. I actually got that feeling I got really hyped, and I feel like that hate, I don't get that hate for this game. Like, I obviously, if you don't like uh, Sun and Moon, you're not going to be excited for this game, I guess, but the, the blind hate is what inspired, inspired this video, in my opinion. Like, I don't get why people said, oh, it's just another remake, it's just another bleh, they're just copying the whole, uh, insert previous Pokemon games, uh, little niche thing, or not niche, but little, like, theme, or, or, like, dimensional travel, or, like, I don't, you know what I'm trying to say, basically, like, people are just saying, oh, it's just, they're just doing that again, they're just doing this again, and I feel like, no, they're really not, uh, are they running out of ideas? Maybe because we've been in space, we've been in time, we've been through going through time, we've gone through freaking the distortion world, we got through. Now we're going through uh, portals and different dimensions and galaxies, and one now we're going through space, all Kingdom Hearts style. Are they running out of ideas? Maybe, but are they doing the ideas that they do have currently? Right, yes, I'd say so. They're doing a very good job right now. If you hear the dog, if you hear the dog barking, I apologize. I don't know how she's barking. I probably a squirrel, but anyway. I feel like there's, I feel there's a lot of blonde hate for this game for no reason. Like I said, if you didn't like Sun and Moon, that's perfectly fine. You have a reason to not like this game as well. Or if you hated Sun and Moon and that you like it, please let me know. I want to know why you why this game caught your interest. I want to know why, uh, why you why you turned around and came back to liking the idea or the path Pokemon has taken, uh, as opposed to why I didn't like Sun and Moon, but now why you do like Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Uh, I just feel there's actually a great storyline, and maybe it's my Kingdom, NA Kingdom Hearts fanboy coming out. I've been waiting over freaking 10 years for that game to come out finally. And just look at this right now. It looks like the Kingdom Hearts 2 scene when you're at the end versus the last boss. Don't want to give too many spoilers, but it looks exactly like that city. I'm not going to lie. It looks really, really uh, uh, eerily close to that whole city there and whatnot. But I really do like the direction. Pokemon is going, the effort to take in to explore the storyline. I didn't like how long it Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I mean, Sun and Moon took. I feel there's a lot of hand-holding, and there's a lot of, like, a lot too much dialogue at some points, especially after you beat the Pokemon League. Oh my god, that was a little torture, to be honest. Then you got a verse Tapu Koko. Thank god they realized that if you kill that thing by accident, you can fight it again later on, but I feel there's a little too long, so I hope in this game you have a little more free reign, free control, and that doesn't do too much dialogue. I do want to see, though, the dialogue and the important, the important parts, where the story gets juicy about maybe Cole Race's involvement here and everything. I just really want to see the link between a previous gen and this gen. And I really want to... Well, it was absolutely crazy if Kanto was actually uh, Ultra Dimension this whole entire time. Or a different dimension. But that's very, very unlikely. Like maybe different Pokemon uh, regions are... Freaking dog, stop freaking barking. But yeah, uh, going back to the whole like Kanto being... Or a Pokemon dimension to Pokemon different regions being different dimensions. That would be insane. Are Pokemon going to do that? I don't think so. Is the, is the Pokemon company going to think about doing that? Maybe. Are they going to probably do it? No, as it does seem impractical. But I do like where they're going with their whole direction of the storyline. Actually being a crisis. Actually being catered to older audience. Making the... Making like... making Even making the main characters look a little bit older. Showing like that they've grown in age. Or your character's not exactly like a 10 year old anymore. Maybe he's a little younger. Maybe he's like 13, 14 at most. But at least it shows that's catering to an older audience in my opinion. Uh, and of course we have new Ultra Beasts. They look freaking amazing. For the competitive scene that's going to be great. We got a new Fire Ghost. We got a Rock Steel. And we got a Pure Poison. Pure Poison is nice because all we really had was Nihilego and Gengar really in the competitive scene for VGC. But now we got a new Ultra Beast, Pure Poison. And, of course, there's no stats just yet, but I feel like they're definitely bringing uh, more mods or more Ultra Beasts to be used in VGC. Now, is that going to completely dismiss Megas coming back? I don't think so, but I think we're going to have another Mega List format. I really wouldn't mind it, but if Megas come back, it's, don't come back, it's not the biggest deal to me. But seeing a pure Poison type, and basically being a pure Tapu Destroyer uh, outside of Nihilego, we do have a new the, the Poison type now. And then we have the Rock Steel. Uh, assembly, who obviously walls the hell out of the poison type Pokemon, gonna be completely immune to them and whatnot. So there's a nice little check and balance there. Then we have the Fire Ghost. He's probably gonna be with the new Glass Cannon right now. And of course, they probably never revealed everything just yet. But from what we've seen, I can see that they're obviously taking uh taking um the competitive scene very very not I shouldn't say very seriously, but they're definitely looking to make it more like checks and balances, if you will. Now I could be pushing the envelope right now, but I do think. They're realizing, yep, this is, there's a big scene here. Uh, there are some complaints, and we kind of want to address those. And are all the complaints addressed? Not even close. But are they doing the are they doing a good job? I think so. I think Pokemon's in the right, the right direction, and I think uh, 
Pokemon's finally taking steps in the right direction to cater to the older audience. It's not all lovey-dovey like their movies are. Oh my god, dude. Pokemon movies are absolute filth recently, guys. Jesus, they've been so bad. But... With that being said, the guys, I don't think of too, too much of time. I already took up longer, more, more time than I thought that I that I was going to, to be honest. And uh, that's my feels on Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I didn't get the blind hate, and I hope I got my points across properly for you guys. Like I said, I'm not the most elegant talker or the elegant, most elegant speaker, and my speech impediment does get in the way sometimes. But I hope I did get a nice, clear point across to you guys. And with that being said, my friends, this game looks amazing. I can't wait. Hope you're excited as well. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.